that. Okay. So this is just totally like open for like questions and answers. Um, if you have specific questions about like this person on my chart and da 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 da, then we should probably have like a private conversation about that specifically. So, what questions do you guys have? And then I can just kind of go over some things um, afterwards uh, after we get like, some questions out of the way. So, what are you guys thinking? Um, hang on, give me a second. I'm just walking in my office. <laughs> So, I don't know, I guess my biggest thing, I mean, we've talked, like last month was rough for me, so I'm super excited that they extended, but my biggest thing is just coming up with like some sort of game plan each day, like obviously my six list, but I want things to be like productive. Like you and I were talking on our walk the other day that, I don't know, Facebook posts are great, but that's probably not where it's all at. Mm -hmm. So. Cannot stress enough. Like I, I enrolled nine distributors this month and seven customers. Like I'm not a mass enroller. That's definitely not mass enrolling, but that's a high one for me. Like that was pretty good. Um, and I swear to you, like consistency on Facebook is so important, but I can't tell you how many people came to me this month saying, People just aren't seeing my Facebook posts. People aren't seeing my It Works posts. It's like they see pictures of my kid, and then that, I'm like, I see the same thing. Who cares? Let it go. Like, don't sit there and stress about I feel like so many people just think they can post on Facebook, and people are going to just come rolling in, or they're just going to message the people that are liking and commenting on their post. But what needs to happen is we need to let our hundreds list drive our messages. And I'm telling you right now, if you're out there, say your top 20 list of people, say you just messaged all of them today, that tells Facebook that you have a personal connection with these people because you're sending a private message to them. And guess what? Now they're all gonna start seeing your Facebook posts. So it all kind of comes full circle but I feel like if there's people out there, and I know they are, I just don't know who, but there's people out there that are just sitting there posting on Facebook and being like, oh, who's going to like it? Who's going to like it? Because that's the person I'm going to message. We can't do that. Like, we can't sit there and just wait for that. And I don't mean to say it like that, but guys, the month that I had her, Angela, I told, this is exactly what I said to Angela on our walk. I said, the month that I had her, my brain was all over the place trying to be mom and life happened, right? Guys. It would become seven o'clock at night and guess what? I posted so much on Facebook and they looked so pretty and they looked amazing. Did I message one person? Like it got to the point where I was like, what am I doing? I'm spending any free second I get, which is not a lot this month, posting on Facebook. Go. My on. posts look really good, but that's it. There's nothing else that's, that's in my enrollments aren't there because I'm not messaging people. So we can sit behind our computer all day and all night and just work on making our Facebook posts really pretty. But you know what? Now what I'm doing is when I'm nursing her at night, I take that like 45 minute time and I set up my post for the next day. So my neighbor came over the other day and she's like, Oh, I didn't know you went to the park today. And I went, Oh, that was yesterday. My life on Facebook is like always a day behind. Don't judge me by that because guys, that's what I do. I set my Facebook posts up and that's what I do. Like, I don't care. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like, that's just, I just set stuff up the night before. And obviously if something happens, I just post about it right then and there, but I need it planned in my head. If it's going to be a productive day, I need the post set up in advance. And then I need to take that time that I have to message people. So do you set up your posts in Buffer and then just like copy and paste them over? Cause like, I don't want all my posts to look like they came from Buffer. You know what no, I mean? That's okay. And the thing is I don't do that because Facebook doesn't like it when you copy and paste something. So what I do personally, what I do is I get the pictures ready. So I'll be like, Oh, I'm going to post that picture. Like the picture of Parker with me holding that cup that said, stop whining. That was actually the morning before. 
but I posted it the following day because I got that picture edited at noon. I'm not going to post it. Right. So stuff like that, when he's going down for a nap or when she's nursing, I go through and I, I edit my pictures at that time for like the following day or the next day after. And what I do is I, if I know I want to post it the next day or even the following day, I put it in my favorite. So I put the heart. Do you know what I'm saying? When I say I put the heart. Yeah. Hey, I pull up my pictures. Do you have an iPhone? Uh, right? No, I don't have an iPhone. Okay. So in an iPhone, if you, you pull up a picture and you can click on the heart at the bottom. Oh, I think that, I can do that too. And that puts it into your favorites. So then when I'm ready to make a post, I go right to my favorites and I just pick whichever one I want. And I, I either set it up and then press cancel and save it. Or I just throw out. I always got like motivational quotes ready because sometimes if I just do that, I just put like an emoji with it and shoot it out. So. Yeah, I have an album on my phone of all motivational quotes, so that's good. Yeah, yep, yeah. What other questions or do you guys want to maybe go over some messages? I think that would be good. Okay, so I like, agree. the number, number one thing that is working for me is green light messaging people. Okay, now, if I could, if I like sat at my desk for like a couple yeah. hours, yeah. For the people that are new on here, can you explain what green light messaging is? Yep, perfect. Green light messaging is going to the people that are active on Facebook right then and there. For me personally, I do it on my phone. So go into your messages. And at the very top, you'll see active. Mm -hmm. Guys, I have 476 people active right now. That could keep me busy, okay? So for me, all the people at the top of that list okay, are the people I talk to the most. <laughs> so Angela, Kat, you guys are all about the top. Um, so I usually just scroll down a little bit and then I start looking for names. Now, if I seriously am sitting down and I have time and I don't have her in my arms or whatever, I'm guiding it by my hundreds list. But if I'm nursing her and I don't have my papers near me and whatever, I'm just going through and I'm like, like, I just had this message with this girl. Thanks guys. Um, so I just messaged her because I saw she was on. And I wrote, I wrote this. I wrote, girl, we got a chat. She saw it. She didn't write back right away. So then I wrote back to her. Do you have time right now? Okay. She writes back. Yes. Hey, how are you? And I write, Hey, how are you? And then this is what I write to her. And if you guys want screenshots or whatever, just let me know. I write, you've totally been on my radar. And I just typed this. I didn't copy and paste this. I typed it up. You've, you've totally been on my radar. I keep thinking how amazing you'd be at this from working from your phone. What do you think? Do you want to hear more about having how to have $5,000 bonus in just a couple of months? And she goes, yeah, let me hear about it. Okay. So from there I say, okay, now again, she's the first person I really like kind of got going with. So this is what I typed. Number one, First goal is to get four customers, any product that they want, and then you get a $100 shopping spree. Number two, find two friends who want to make some extra money to join you. Number three, help them with the above steps, then help both of them get to the rank of Ruby, which is, and then I put in parentheses, five people on their team. Number four, help everyone get their four customers so that they can get their $100 shopping spree. Okay, so that's my one, two, three, and four that I sent to her. And then I go, and then I go, well, actually, the first thing is you got to sign up. <laughs> now, she waited, she saw that message before, and she didn't do much. I saw her act unactive. It was like two minutes unactive. So I was like, I'm going to send this right now. I'm not going to wait, because usually I wait for them to respond. I wrote, well, the first thing is to sign up. Ha ha ha. $99 for the box marketing material and four wraps. And if you sign up right now, I'm going to give you all of this for free. Cleanse, extra wrap, defining gel samples, green on the go, coffee, keto coffee packs. So lots of info, but I'm going to be here helping you every step of the way. You'll learn as you go as well. What do you say? Let's run after this bonus. And then of course, guys, everybody has a hesitation. 
everybody has a hesitation. Why are they not joining? That's our job to figure out what it is. Well, I didn't even have to ask her. She put it right out there. She has a crappy phone. Really, you're going to throw that at me? That you have a crappy phone and you're getting a new phone next month and that's when maybe you'll be ready to sign up? No, let's do this now. So she basically put out there, honestly, this would be really perfect for me. This is the, this is the perfect timing. And she mentioned something about taxes and stuff. But I need a better phone to be able to work this business from my phone. So I then, of course, went back into saying, you know, okay, well, the first month, four customers. Can you call four people? So I'm, she shares her hesitation with me and now I'm validating why she doesn't need her phone to do everything. You can call people, you can text people, get out there and, you know, talk to people, open your dang mouth. So then next month, you take it into full gear with, um, and then I, I of course say like the $5,000 bonus is ending, whatever. But that's the conversation that I had with her. Um, I'm going to go to any questions about that one. Okay. So guys, everything I'm doing is green light messaging and I never, ever, ever word vomit on them. I might word vomit after they say hi back to me, but still I'm like getting their engagement. Like I'm like, Hey Katie, how are you? Or Hey Katie, what's up? Hey Katie, got a quick question. I'm saying that. And then as soon as they say, yeah, what's up? I got them. Now I've got their attention. Now they're ready to listen. Okay. So most of the time I'm saying now with the bonus, I'm like, Hey, do you got time to chat? Okay? Because you know what? Sometimes they really, really don't. And they just answered you quick because they're on a quick break at lunch. You know what? Let's chat um, tomorrow morning. So I have somebody I messaged this morning and said, Hey, do you have time to chat? She said, actually I don't, but tomorrow morning I do. I'd love to chat more with you about that bonus. And I'm like, heck yeah, she's watching. Okay. She knows why I'm messaging her. So, um, this girl, okay, so so I had, you guys, I had three distributors that were like, one of them was at my website, never signed up. The other two said they were going to sign up and send me the information. Because that's three people that I should have had in the bag, and I didn't. But I didn't sit around and wait for just those three people to sign up. I went and found other people, okay? Now, this was the last two days of the month, and I wanted to hit... 10 distributors and I only hit nine. So I was kind of bummed with myself, but those three distributors, none of them signed up. They all said that they were going to one even sent me a screenshot of her at the website. And because something wasn't working, I was speaking to her, telling her not to do it, whatever. Um, so I went and found, hang on, I'm just gonna, Demi, I just muted you just so you know, sorry. Um, so I ended up, hang on, let me see how the conversation started. I just signed this girl up last night. I've never talked to her before. Okay, so this is what I wrote. Okay, so she liked the post I put up about, um, guys, go copy it because it really is amazing. It's about, it's basically you're selling the Fit 15. So you're saying like, if you order coffee and the shake, then I'm going to give you the cleanse and greens for free as well as two body wraps. Okay. So I also have another post I'm going up today and I'm just rewording it. So go get, go get that post and save it. So this girl liked it. She liked the post. I messaged her immediately. I've never talked to her. I've never even liked one of her pictures, but guess what? She liked it. She's getting a message from me. So I waved first to get her attention. And then I wrote, Hey girl, how are you? She writes, Hey, I'm good. How are you? I said, thanks for asking. Emma's been losing it. Guys, I always mention Emma. People know me by Emma, especially all my mom group friends. Okay, if I'm like, oh, I'm just sitting here nursing, they're like, oh my God, me too. Like, guys, they know I'm a real person because I got my kid on my boob all day. Like, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Like, I say that. Um, and then she writes, oh man, I feel ya. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. And she writes, it's definitely a struggle. I said, okay, so here's the killer deal. And I write, it's $353 normally, but you can get the coffee and shake. Um, I'll give you the cleanse and greens for free, whatever, okay? She asks if it's good for breastfeeding. She wants more information so her sister can take it to the doctor, okay? Guys, ready for this? I go, okay, sounds good, keep me posted. And then instantly I go, hang on, she just said her sister. Hold up, so this is what I type. 
Hey, I just got an idea. If you're looking for a way to make extra money, we have a huge promotion going on and it actually ends in a couple of hours. You could always join the team and then your sister could be your first customer. And then I, I send that. Like, ooh, I have an idea, okay? Like I'm all about the gifts. They're just gifts, I don't know what they're called, I don't care, but they're fun and they make people laugh. And she goes, what does it take to join? So then I send her, it's $99, you'll get a kit with marketing material and body wraps, and then you'll get a ton of premier products for free. I can send you a picture of what it is. I send her that, okay? She goes, oh, there's so many options. And I'm like, yeah, you got that right. You can use the products or you can make money while using the products. That's what I said. She goes, oh, okay, so give me the lowdown. I'm horrible at working online, whatever. So, guys, there's her hesitation. She doesn't think she can work a business online. Me a so I said, I've been doing this for four years. I have so much fun and, um, I have a lot more fun than I did as a teacher. Ha ha ha. Um, you can get a $5,000 bonus at the end. Guys, I didn't even mention the $5,000 bonus to her to get her interested. Did you hear? I never mentioned it. And then I go like this. Oh yeah. And there's a $5,000 bonus for all the new people. And it ends tonight. And she goes, what do you mean a bonus? I never even mentioned it. Duh. Like, right. So then I said, once you reach Emerald, um, you get a $5,000 bonus. What does Emerald rank mean? How much do I have to sell? Okay, you guys heard my one, two, three, and four that I've shared before. I shared the same thing. I said, get four customers, help people join your team. I said, that's just the basic explanation. She didn't write back. Okay, she waited for a little bit. She didn't write back. Guess what I did? I wrote to her and I said, does that all make sense? Question mark. I waited, I waited, and then she writes, yes, it does, thank you, sorry, I was eating dinner. Guys, so many people think, oh my God, she's not interested, oh my God. She was eating dinner, like, I'm not a priority to her right now, and I really shouldn't be. I'm some random person she's never met before. So I write back, try to be funny, I'm like, that's not acceptable, I'm sorry, and I, I send another GIF, my favorite one, I'm funny, okay? She goes, I'm actually really thinking of doing this. And I said, don't overthink it. Let's just do this right now. Let's work after the $5,000 bonus, whatever. Ugh, Emma, I'm going to throw her on the boot here shortly. So then I go like this. I don't really know why I said this because I've never said this before, but it actually got her. She goes, but honestly, any extra income would be nice. I said, so let's go after the 5K. And heck, even if you didn't get it, you'd still probably be around the $1,000 a month once you reach that rank. So we can at least go after the bonus. And she said, okay, you got me. Get me signed up. Emma. Okay, so that was somebody that I've never talked to before. I've never even had a conversation. All right, I'm gonna throw on the boot. Kat, can you take over? Hang on, I'm trying to unmute. I was trying to unmute myself. Um, Ah, I don't know where to start. Danielle, you're always so good at it. <laughs> uh, so like Danielle was saying, like she messages people. <clears throat> and here's the thing. I, we're so worried about them not seeing our posts and everything. And I may be repeating what you said, and I'm sorry if I am. Um, we're so worried about them seeing the posts that um, we're forgetting that we need to interact with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, and here's the thing, just like Danielle uh -huh. said, these people do see your post. They're just not liking and commenting on it because they probably had a bad experience in the past with people just, you know, just jumping on them with, as soon as they comment on their stuff, they message them and just throw a bunch of stuff after them, out them with, out to them without making a, um, creating a relationship with them. Because Danielle said that the, they already said something about the bonus and she didn't even have to mention it. They already knew it was there. Same thing happened to me today. A customer messaged me about um, she had ordered coffee or she had ordered the creamer. She was already on the coffee. She ordered the creamer because she said she had saw my hot chocolate video, live video. Well, I never knew she was even on that video. She watched it later. Um, and then I'm talking to her about how she's going to take the product, you know, what she's going to do. And she's like, well, um, what do you do to have, what do you have to do to get to Emerald? So I had no idea that she was ever looking 
at my post because she's never any business or anything. And she was secretly stalking it too. So, um, and here's the thing. And that was lesson learned for me because I should have, I should have talked to her about the business and I didn't. She came to me. So I was lucky there. So, but how many people have I not offered it to that are secretly stalking us and they want it. They just need to be asked. And it's okay if they say no. I mean, I, it took me a while to learn that too, that it's not personal at all. Um, it's okay if they say no. Um, and if you end it in a good, you know, end that conversation good and just say, hey, can I follow up with you in a couple months and see if maybe, or can I keep, can I continue to share specials with you, messaging and stuff? Then you're building that relationship. And it doesn't look like, and we shouldn't be hungry just to make a dollar. We really need this business to help other people. This is why I share the products. This is why I share the business because I've seen what it does for other people. So, you know, posting, like Pam Souter always says, posting is not asking. Posting is not asking. So, um, you guys, definitely have to reach out to them. I wouldn't, if I would have never presented it to this girl last night, she would have just signed up as a customer after her sister talked to her doctor. Like, that was it. But, you've got, we've got to present it to people. You know what I mean? So, um, okay. What questions do you guys have about pushing for Emerald? I feel like my biggest thing in my mind that I'm telling all new people and really it applies to you guys, you guys that are not Emerald. I don't care if you're Ruby. I don't care if you're executive. I don't care what rank you are. You can go Emerald by the end of this month. You need two people two people on your team to run beside you and focus on going Ruby and then focus on getting them Emerald. So whether it's a new person and they're ready to run with you or whether it's somebody that's been in this business beside you, guys, you've got to be talking to them on a regular basis and, and get them to Emerald. Make that your goal. You know what I mean? Talk to them daily. Ask, say, have them be your accountability partner. Say, hey, what's your six list look like today? Let's, let's message each other at eight o'clock every morning and share our six list. And let's compare. Let's see what we're doing. And you know what? If we get through week one and we haven't signed one distributor, then we need to do something different and we need to have that conversation. So I know that um, I had this conversation with someone the other day and they had said, it sounds so harsh. And I'm like, well, first of all, anybody that knows me knows I just am blunt. I, I never am trying to be harsh. I'm never like trying to be like mean. It's just me being very blunt and, and not taking the time to be a cat or be a yellow. <laughs> so when I say, if something's not working, you have to change it up. That's because that's what works for me. If I'm pushing my butt to go triple or whatever it is. And I'm doing all these things to sign all these customers and I'm not signing a customer. Well, clearly what I'm doing is not working. I have to change it up. And I'll always tell the story. The month that I was pushing for triple, my goal was to get 20 customers because I had all my distributors. I just needed customers. That first week, you guys, I hit day seven. I hadn't signed one customer. Hello? Really? How have I not signed one customer? And you guys, I knew I was going triple. I was pushing harder than I've ever pushed in this business. What the heck was wrong? Why was I not signing any customers? So I had to have a come to Jesus with myself and I really had to figure out what the heck was I doing? Because what I was doing was not working. And you know what I was doing, you guys? I was so focused on posting, 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 posting. I'm gonna post her results. I'm gonna post, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm gonna post this, I'm gonna post that. Guys, I wasn't sitting behind my computer and messaging the crap out of everybody. That's what I needed to be doing. I wasn't going live on a regular basis to share the products, okay? Mm -hmm. So I had to figure out what I was doing because it wasn't working and I had to figure out what I could do. Whether it meant thinking out of the box or whatever, that's when I started doing open houses in my own house. I started inviting people to my house. So this business works, we've proven that to you. You're the one that has to make the decision on how it's going to work for you. So you've got to figure out what you're doing, figure out what's not working, and you got to shift stuff up a little bit. So find an accountability partner. Run with your runners. 
Can I say this too real quick? Um, if there's a lot of new distributors on here that are trying to figure out like who they want, like, okay, so how do I say this? Demi's on here. Demi has been my little sidekick literally for, gosh, Demi, how many years? Um, Demi was actually my assistant at uh, my job that I had for so long. Mm -hmm. She was my assistant for a while. And I've always thought that Demi was, mm -hmm. the heart that Demi had and everything about Demi, I wanted her to be alongside me with this business. And I've asked her before, but it just wasn't her time. But my point is, find somebody that you want to be passionate enough that you want to run with you for your first distributors. I mean, this is not going to be forever, but find, if is it your sister, is it your mom, is it your cousin, is it your best friend? Who can you have the most fun with? Who can you go, pardon the turn, balls to the walls with, and just celebrate life together and you'll be so excited to do that i hope that makes sense to you guys to to reach inside yourself to find that person or those it could be multiple people that you just love and care for so much and when you when you figure out who those are you message them you voice message them you i've got one girl for three years almost i've been asking her Probably six times a year I have asked her. Um, and lately it's been every week. Still not ready, but I know she needs this business. And I know that she will be amazing at this business. So when it's her time, she's going to come. But search like inside yourself and think, man, I really would love for this business to not only work for me, but I want this business to be great for my mom so she doesn't have to you know, be in her 60s or whatever, however your old mom is, I don't know, um, and, and continue working um, as hard as she works. You know, we have moms that are still, you know, doing just manual labor, just labor, labor, manual labor jobs, and there's nothing wrong with that. But God, don't we all want to bring our moms home that took care of us? Same thing about our husbands. Like, you know, I have a goal to bring my husband home because he's worked so hard for us. Um, so think about like who you want to be at the top with you, running with you. And that's who you go and you give, you just pour into them the excitement. Um, I almost get emotional thinking about some of the people that, you know, what I've seen this business do for some people. Like it, it's, it's emotional knowing that, you know, they brought mamas home. They were able to have babies because of this business. There's just so much. And, you know, not everybody's going to understand it and that's okay. So then you move on to the next one. But my theory is I never give up on that person. I never give up on that person. It, their no may just be no, not right now. Absolutely. So and I love what Leslie always says. She says you have to let it be up to them if they want to join you. So you have to present it to everybody, no matter who you're, who you're talking to. You know, the grocery store person that's checking you out which I haven't been to the grocery store in like forever because I use ClickList, so that's even weird for me to say now. <laughs> but the person that's checking you out at the grocery store, like she could be a single mom, like super struggling, and she could blow this thing out of the water. Present mm -hmm. it to her. It is your job to present it to everybody. It's their job to decide if it's something that they're willing to take a leap of faith and, and try. Um, but my biggest thing that I say to everybody is you will not know until you try. Like I've proven to people, you know, a lot of people on this team have proven to people that this business works if you work it. So you've just got to decide what you need to do and how you need to work this. And social media is not for everybody. So if you are sitting behind your computer hoping for something to happen and it's not, then you've got to decide, do I really want this business to work? Yes, I do. Okay, then I need to figure out another way to work this business. Is it events? Is it blitzing? Is it parties? You guys, there are so many people that go straight to the top with parties and we do not do enough of them. And I may sound like a hypocrite. I'm doing my best having two kids and pretty much being a stay at home mom. I have parties at my house to make it more convenient for me. I know the benefit of parties, but if we can get out there, if you're the type of person that you can schedule one party a week, 
guys, that's where it's at. I feel like we need to, you know, get back to the basics to get that wrap on people. But it's, it's what you're willing to do. It's what, I feel like every time I've really, really pushed for a promotion, I've had to really talk to myself on the, on the first day of the month. And I've had to say, it's 30 days. It's 30 days. And this could change my family's life. So you know what? I have to seriously make some sacrifices. And I can't say that enough to anybody that is like, like Angela, she said, I'm going Emerald at the end of this month. Like she's, she's going, she's getting it. She doesn't care what she has to do to get there. Like the number one thing I would say to Angela right now is you're going to have to make sacrifices. You're the one that has to decide what those sacrifices are. So for me, I'm all about some prison break right now. Okay. I love me some prison break. <laughs> this month, Danielle ain't watching. Prison break, okay? Like we're not watching it at all. So you've got to be willing to make sacrifices in order to reach your goals. Okay. Like guys, I didn't go grocery shopping the month that I, all the months that I really, really pushed. And I was like, I'm going, I don't care what I have to do. Like I'm getting it. My husband went grocery shopping those months. Um, he made dinners those months that, you know, I was really pushing because I was working my full-time job and I needed every second that I possibly could take to work this business, to reach that goal. So even if you're, even if you're new in this business and you know, you have two months to get it, start now. You've got 60 days, 60 days that could truly and honestly change your life. And if you're willing to see the bigger picture of this, think of it this way. In two months, you go Emerald. Okay. Say you signed your sister and your best friend. Those are your, your main people. They both went Ruby. You just went Emerald and you got the $5,000 bonus. Guess what guys? Those two people, your sister and your best friend, they're now going to go Emerald. And what's that going to do for your business? You're going to be diamond, double diamond, and even further. Okay. So you've got to be able to see that big picture even past this. So the faster you run with your team, the better off that's going to be. So hunker down. It's 30 days. It's 60 days, whatever it is for you and run like H E L L. All right. What questions do you guys have? I was thinking that too. H E double L. All right. Questions, 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 anything. Guys, get comfortable with messaging. The more messages you send out, it's just like blitzing. So don't be afraid to get out there and blitz people. But don't be afraid to get out there and message people. And if you're like, um, Allie's one of my newest distributors. So Allie, send me screenshots and messages that you're sending to people. If you're like, I don't know if they're, they're just not getting back to me or, or they're not interested. Allie, send me screenshots of your messages that you're sending to people because I want to help you and I want to I want to see what words you're using and I want to see if you're ending your, your, um, messages with a question and whatever it may be. I want to see if you're word vomiting. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, Erica, Erica yell hilarious. When she first started, I'd be like, girl, send me your messages. You guys, her messages were like this, this, this. I was like, dude, stop. You send so much. She just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. <laughs> I'll always laugh because oh, I'm guilty of that too. Oh my God, I'm guilty so of that. That's I'm why like, you need to stop sending them a book. <laughs> that's <laughs> why I'm like, I'm, I'm so into the voice messaging because first yes. of all, you can get so much in one minute. Thank you for sending that, or for saying that. So this is what I've also done. Guys, voice messages is so huge because it shows your excitement. It's kind of like the importance of doing a live video voice messaging. Okay. Voice message people. So here's what I did. And I've only sent it to like four people, but I posted something and said, who wants more information, whatever. So four people commented and said, yes, I made a voice message for the first person. Now, mind you, I'm, con I feel like I'm like all over the place, busy. I can't even like think straight. So I made the voice message very universal. Like Hey, I can't wait to tell you about this Emerald bonus. It just got extended, blah, blah, blah. Okay, right? I give as much information as I can in one minute. I make it quick, one minute. And then everybody else that asks me for more information, I forward that message to them. I forward that message to them, okay? That's something that I've, I, I've done it before, but it's so helpful for me when... Um, I'm so busy. I, I just feel like I don't have time to like message as many people as I want to be able to message. 
So you've got to try to work smarter, not harder. And that's what I'm always trying to do. Hey, listen, so let me just tell you this message I've been getting. Sorry, I've been messaging while we're doing this too, because you will message me about, about greens. And she was like, um, I told her how much they were and blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, okay, well, I'll have to see next week because I don't have the $20 right now. LOL. And rent was due today. And I'm like, I totally understand. You know, this business is always open for you to make extra money. If you're willing to work it, we can work, we can make it work for you. And she has been talking to me for about two months about the business. And she desperately needs this business with two kids, $20 in rent too. Like she desperately needs this business. Now, am I going to sit there and choke her out with messages? No, because she's going to have to make that decision and it be on her own terms. But I'm going to continue to present it to her and remind her that, you know, this business can change her, her you know, her legacy and her kids' legacy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so one of my new distributors just wrote to me and said, I'm on and my name is Ripple. <laughs> I was like, I wonder who that was. So I want to see if she'll come on just for a second and answer a question because guys, this is my, I don't know if she can or not. She says she's listening. Um, so this is, she does not have a Facebook account. Okay. She does not have a Facebook. She just signed up a, a day or two ago. She already has two distributors. She already has three customers. She sent me a picture this morning of her um, blitzing at a salon. Well, she doesn't even have blitz cards yet, but she's writing it on a scrap piece of paper. So way to go. I know she is killing it. So I'm so proud of her. And then she already has uh, more potentials and more potential distributors even. So I didn't know if she could come on and maybe share some tips about how she's crushing it to behind the scenes because so many of us get so wrapped up in Facebook and we don't work it behind the scenes. Well, she's done all of this in two days and she doesn't have Facebook. So uh, she says she doesn't know if she can, hang on, let me unmute her and see if she can do it. Hope, are you there? Yes. Yay, how are you? Hey, excited. I have, I, I don't really have too many questions right now. Okay. Other than I have some people telling me, well, um, I want to get that stuff, but you know, like the excuses that everybody has. Yeah. And so I'm just trying to encourage them. Look, just try the product for three months. If you like it, then make it your business. And if not, then you're gaining benefits for yourself. And so I'm just trying to be encouraging, but I know in the tri community that I live in, which is close to the town Oracle. Yeah. And Tucson. Um, I have a lot of clientele that are just skeptical because they've tried, um, and I'm not putting down any of the other products, but things like Advocare and other stuff out there. Yeah. And they just said that it just didn't work for them or they didn't feel the effects. But I recently talked to a person who's a natural pathic um, person, and she told me that for every 10 years that a person is, it takes one month for any natural product to get into their system. So basically, yeah. if you're 40 years, you should try the product for four months to get full benefits. Wow. So I, I'm like, okay, time. well, I'll just, you know, have to do before and after. So I have the loyal customers that I have right now have been willing to do um, before and after photos of their hair and then of their tummies. And I think that that's going to help promote. Of course, it's like probably two months from now. But I think that's going to draw in a lot of the skeptical people that I know. Yeah, mostly mostly women, because they're gonna say, "Oh my gosh, I know her, and her hair hasn't grown for years since I've known her." Yeah, or or the benefits of seeing them slim down because they're trying the coffee and the wraps and other stuff. Absolutely, yeah, and don't be afraid, Hope, to share any of my pictures too. And again, Hope is not on Facebook, so Hope, you haven't even seen any of my. Pictures. I know, I you know what? Because it's just us group uh, that's small and intimate. I had joined with Danielle about what was it three and a half years ago yeah, it was a long time ago. Some, yeah and the reason I did because your Facebook at the time I had Facebook it seemed very personal and inviting and I was like oh, I didn't know you I hadn't met you but it felt trustworthy so I tried the products for about four or five months somewhere in there and um had a personal experience go on in my life, which was divorce. And so, of course, I had to step back because of the income not being there to do and go through the emotions. But then I realized, you know what? I remember just that period of time, the products. I was, I love greens and hair, skin, and nail. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to get back on that, and I'm going to make myself feel better. And I'm going to help my family and friends do the same. 
So it's just going to be a matter of time for them to see before and afters of people that they know around my, my daughters, my cousins, my aunt, you know, Absolutely. now can you just give us one quick tip on how you are? I feel like so many people get stuck behind Facebook and a computer. So I want you to just share how you are capitalizing on sharing this with people because you don't have social media. You aren't using mm -mm. Facebook or Instagram right now to, you know, let people know what you're doing. So can you share with people what you've been doing these last couple of days to share it with the world without having sure. a social media account? Yeah. Like right now, Danielle, you mentioned about me writing my info for my website, my cell phone, my name on a piece of paper for this client. Cause I have, I'm a nurse, I'm a um, certified nurse assistant. So I do caregiving in private homes and I had to take my client this morning for her appointment. And I thought, well, why am I going to mix, open up my greens and put it in my water bottle and shake it up as I'm driving when I can do that in the salon so that people can look and see, you know, what is that? And that's exactly what happened. That was my intention. That was my plan. And so when I go in there and my client gets called back, um, I'm opening it and this lady's sitting there. She goes, what is that? And so... Um, I shared it with her and she's like, wow, that sounds interesting. I said, well, I said, she goes, how can I get some? And I said, well, you know what? I said, I'll write down my information. I said, if you have any questions, but I briefly kind of just told her, you know, that it's natural, it's healthy. And um, she was very excited to know more about it. So I'm hoping the only bad thing I did, and, and I'll share this, which I was hearing you guys talk about things and how we learn about our mistakes is that I need to um, learn how to say, well, would you mind giving me your email or your phone number so that I could follow up with you versus yeah. just like she may never call me or she may lose that piece of paper. Absolutely. And like most people do, most people say, hey, let me add you to my Facebook page. So you don't have Facebook. So, hey, let me go ahead and put your phone number in my phone. And just a quick tip, Hope, what I do when I get people's phone numbers next to their name, I write the letters P L C. So when I'm doing my follow-ups or if I'm like, shoot, what was that girl's name I met last mm -hmm. week? I can just type in P L C and I've got all these people to come up. That's that narrows it down a little bit. Then I can find who she is. Yes, that is. A good I think Danielle, was it you that told us or someone somewhere along the way too, is like taking a picture of your blitz card on your phone and just saying to like, I don't have any of my cards on hand. Do you mind if I just text you my, yes. my information real quick? And that's oh, an that's easy great idea. Yeah. But then you have to get their phone number and it's not like you're exactly. some cuckoo bird off the street. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now hope you don't have <laughs> yeah. a blitz card on your hand. So go on eSuite or go into, um, Oh my God, what am I trying to say? You can go into eSuites. I'm sure they have one there, but just okay. Google. Google okay. splits card and save one of, save just one of those and add your, you can even use, um, I use word swag and pick collage. Those are two big apps I use to, for editing. Um, you can put your picture into that and then you can add your website right on top of that. Okay. That's a great idea. Yeah. Some of these things, I'm glad I chimed in because I was kind of skeptical and then I thought, well, I have the time because I don't pick up my daughter till three forty-five. So, um, perfect. Yeah, this, this will actually help me out. And now, guys, I have to share, too. Hope, um, we reconnected. Mind you, she doesn't have Facebook, so she doesn't see me on Facebook. We reconnected by, um, I started seeing my YouTube channel. I started seeing this person was commenting <laughs> on my videos. I'm like, who is this? And I'm like, what the heck? So I'm, like, checking her out. And then she finally sends me, you sent me a text, right? Yes. Yeah, because I have my phone number on everything in YouTube. So she had probably watched like 10 videos of mine and I'm getting all these comments like so inspirational. This is a great video. Thanks. so. And I'm like, who the heck is this person? <laughs> so You're a YouTube remember, stalker. I, I searched your name on Facebook and I was like, no, nothing. I am getting nothing. And then a couple of days later, I get a text message from her um, saying, hey, I'm ready. I want to get started, but yada, yada, yada. So it's just so funny how how people find you or yeah. you find people. So, all yes. right. You so and you couldn't find me because I went back to my maiden name. So, exactly. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and, and the whole reason of me being skeptical of Facebook, and I don't know if anybody out there has any um, suggestions, but I'm just, um, my ex-narcissist husband, I'm just so nervous about him like causing problems or just being a stalker for, you know, the hate of it. And so that's the only thing that's holding me back.
But if I let that hold me back, then say goodbye to Ruby, Emerald, and the other bling bling stuff that follows. So you got it, girlfriend. I love yeah. your outlook. I love your mindset. So you're awesome. So, okay. So yep. I'm going to open it up for anybody else that's Emma. Charlene, she wants you. Hi, baby. I was going to ask you, do you want me to come over and help you? I was off. Charlene? Take her. <laughs> I'm coming over too then. Oh my God. <laughs> right? Guys, this is why I wear her. Like seriously. This is like, she's not even happy like with me holding her. Anyway. Do I get two then? <laughs> yes. I do, Miss Angela. Here, hang on. Give me a second. Okay. So does anybody have any more specific questions before I stop the recording? I don't have a question, but I have a suggestion. Yeah. Um, so I've had three ladies that haven't responded after speaking with me for back and forth for a while. And I went in today, as a matter of fact, and I said, hey, how are you? I like whatever on your page. I was just communicating with them. And I said, by the way, I hope I didn't upset you or turn you off, uh, you know, something like that. Or I hope you didn't think I was bugging you about the business. And they're all now speaking back to me. So if you have that where people aren't, they haven't responded like three messages later, do that. Just say, hey, did I do something wrong? And that'll initially, they'll, get, they'll start talking back to you again. So I think I learned that from probably either Kat or Danielle or somebody, but it's been working. Nice. I love that. And guys, I know if you were on this Zoom, you worked hard last month. If you know you worked hard last month. You're on this Zoom out of I don't know how many people I opened it up to. So think, think about all the people that you talked to about joining your team last month. Message them all today. Okay? Don't tell oh, them that the bonus got extended. Don't tell them right now. Okay, message them and say, hey, I have to tell you something. Or, hey, do you got a second? I really have to share something with you. Leave that cliffhanger, guys. Make them say, yeah, what's up? Now tell them. Now you got their attention. Now say, okay, I know that you've been considering it, but I really truly feel like now is your time because the bonus got extended and now you have three full months instead of two months to get this bonus. If you get start, whatever, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm doing. That's my like number one goal for today. So any other comments, any other questions? Otherwise I'll go ahead and stop the recording. I have a quick question. Yes. Um, for talking, you were talking about doing our six lists at like, I don't know, 8 a.m. every day or something like that. Um, can we maybe make a chat group for like the people that are really going for Emerald to, and kind of hold each other accountable for that each morning? Or where do you think we should put that? Um, why don't you make a post, make a post in diamond dynasty and say, okay. I want to start a group chat of everybody that wants to exchange six lists at a certain time every morning to hold each other accountable. Everybody that's truly, truly pushing for Emerald this month. Okay. And then everybody that comments starts group chat. Okay. Yeah. I think that's great. Okay. Any other comments, questions, ideas, you guys good. All right. Thanks, guys, for hopping on. I appreciate it. It was good to see you guys. Thank you. All right. Hi, Murphy. <laughs> Hi.